Hola amigos! Today I'm going to be turning this tapestry blanket into a sweater. It's a Christmas blanket that I thrifted. So this is very DIYable if you want to make a sweater too. You can easily thrift one for like five bucks max. So yeah! I'm using this sweatshirt that this guy let me borrow. <laughs> My little boo thing or whatever. And I'm using it to make the pattern of the sweater. So I folded in the sleeves. I didn't cut his sweatshirt guys okay i just folded in the sleeve so that i can get the shape of the body part of the sweatshirt and i'm tracing it with my taylor's chalk that i got from amazon i'll put the link in the description box i used to be the type of person who would use pen to trace anything that i was sewing and i learned the hard way that sometimes pen does not wash off so i finally invested in a little pack of taylor chalk and this easily wipes off with water so it's great for these type of things i also folded the blanket so i can cut through both layers at the same time so I can get the front and the back piece of the body of the switch sweater. I'm going to use my fabric scissors. These are the Mr. Pen fabric scissors from Amazon. They work pretty well. I've had them for a long time and they're still sharp. So I'll also put those in the description and I'm just cutting where I drew my chalk. In the beginning I kind of cut it in a tapered shape at the end but I ended up cutting that part off because it kind of made it uncomfortable to put on. So right now I am cutting the front piece, the top part, the neck hole is a little bit too small so I ended up making it a wider neck hole. Now I am going to sew along the edges and the shoulder part of the sweater. You're going to leave the arm hole open and the head part open. And I'm using my overlock machine, which I've seen this TikTok saying that this is like the worst serger that you can get. And honestly, it has not done me wrong. The only thing is that the light bulb went out. Well, the light bulb blew, but that's like an easy fix. Nothing has ever gone wrong with this. So I don't know why they said this was the worst, sewing, the worst serger, but I like it. Now I'm tracing the sleeves again with my tailor chalk so I can cut out the pieces. Now I'm tracing the first sleeve that I made on the other piece of fabric and I'm keeping the tassels on the end because I want them to be on the end of the sleeve. These are the three pieces that I have and now we have to connect them. Okay guys, so I'm talking in here for a little bit because I feel like I have to explain this part right now. So I made the sleeve and I made the body of the hoodie or the sweatshirt or whatever. But since I didn't have a pattern, things aren't really lining up because this part of the sleeve is bigger than the whole of the sweatshirt. So in order for me to match it up, I just sewed the top of the sleeve together and not the bottom because I'm going to have to um, match it to this. And to do that, um, I decided to, like I said, so this, this is just what made more sense to me. So I sewed the top together and I'm gonna match this seam with the seam that I made of the sleeve like this. I don't know if you could see it, but the center is right here. And I'm gonna match both of those seams together like this, sandwich them. And I'm going to sew until I get to the end of the hole. And then that's how I'll know what I need to cut off, which is gonna be about this much, like three, two to three inches, cause it's too big. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the sleeve and then eventually they'll connect right here. I don't know if I'm explaining this good, but then I'll cut it. At least that's what I'm going to do now. I just hope it works out how I imagined it to. But for the most part, I think the sleeve is good. Cause I didn't want to make it too small cause the last time I made a sweatshirt, the sleeves were like too, the proportions were just really bad. So I hope this works. Let's see. I am literally a mad genius. Look, 
it worked out exactly how I wanted it to. So now all I have to do is trim the excess. Like I said, the sleeve was a little bit bigger than the hole, only by like two inches kind of. And now all I have to do is trim that little part off. So the bottom of the sleeves together and the hoodie is almost done. I am going to hem it because it frays and I don't want it to unravel. So after I finish the sleeves, I'm going to go along each of the edges with my overlock machine and I'm going to fold it over so that it looks cleaner and hem it. But oh my God. Sorry. RIP headphone users, because I did a lot of yelling in this video. I was just too excited. I couldn't really contain my excitement. Guys, I know I'm really close to the camera right now, but I don't feel like adjusting it to do this, to say this. But I'm on the last step of the sleeves before hemming, but I'm, pretty, I'm gonna leave soon, so I'm gonna hem it when I get back. I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> The way that I did it is I told you guys I was gonna attach this part first and leave this open. That's what I just sewed was the bottom part of the sleeve. And when you sew it all together, there's gonna be like a little bit of a hole because it wasn't lined, but you can just easily flatten out the seam to close up this hole right here like that. And then just sew along the line and it should work out. Excuse the mess, there's like a lot of little fibers everywhere because this is like a really messy material to work with. But who cares about that? Because this is how the sweatshirt looks. I have these little bottom pieces of the fabric that I can add right here. I think that would be cute, but I'm gonna do that later. This is so cute. And then here's the back. The back is really cute. I kind of like the back more than the Santa part. The colors just are gorgeous. Let's try her on, or him, or they. I don't know the pronouns. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. Look at Santa. <laughs> and then it has the Mary right here, but the Christmas part is cut off. I back the camera up so you guys can see like the whole thing. This is her. I love the little tassels on the sleeves. So I'm definitely gonna attach the other tassels on the bottom. But I think I am gonna cut it off because it's just too tight on the bottom for my liking. And if I sell it, I want the person to be able to get into it easily for it to fit comfortably so i think i am going to cut it a guy could wear it it would just be kind of like a little bit of a cropped fit oh this is so cute guys i can't wait to finish it up oh i'm so happy <laughs> this is why i love sewing i just always feel so accomplished and happy and like in a great mood when i make something because it's like i literally just did this with my hands and my brain bro like no one can tell me anything i know how to make clothes do you know how to make clothes? If you don't, you need to learn because this is a great feeling. Like this is a feeling that cannot be replaced with something else. Like I love this feeling. The feeling of making something successfully. Oh, I feel so good guys. So I think this technique is called a rolled hem. I seen someone say that and I'm just gonna call it that, but that's what I did for the top so that I can avoid fraying on the top and it just looks so perfect and neat. I love it. Then I attached the tassel on the bottom, but then I had to top stitch it so that it could lay flat instead of flipping up like that. So that's what we're gonna do. This is me top stitching and I did it as close as possible to the top of the seam. And this is the final product. Isn't she lovely? 
let me not sing i'm not gonna hurt you guys ears even more but yeah i love the outcome i love the tassels on the bottom the pattern the colors everything is just so gorgeous my brother he modeled it for me because i made this using a men's medium hoodie so i kind of wanted it to be fit for a man so he modeled it for me and i love the little cropped look it has i love that on guys like when they have like crop shirts not crop crop like a girl crop top but like how when it falls at the top of their pants you know not really showing their stomach but yeah And then this is how it looks on me. Obviously, it fits completely different because I'm a woman size extra small. So it's really oversized on me, but still so cute. Oh my gosh. Thanks for watching.